Thank you, Program Director. Um, I greet uh, the entire executive uh, of uh, SAMSA. I greet all the industry players, uh, government players, um, uh, government department uh, representatives uh, in this session today. Um, firstly, I must apologize uh, with the technical issues. Um, we don't take this opportunity very light to be sharing uh, in this platform today. As we look into this year, 2022, and moving forward, um, continuing to engaging and working, you know, with SAMSA. Uh, officially, um, I think we, we as a chamber, you know, started uh, to work with SAMSA around year 2019. And between there and now, I can say we have seen uh, quite, you know, a number of changes, some that were good for the industry and some that we still feel, you know, uh, needed to, to, to be addressed robustly by, by everyone. Um, being a voice for the small business, I think SAMSA has provided, you know, quite a, a platform um, for, for, for us as, as an organization uh, within the industry space. And we so wish that, you know, that continues as we drive, you know, this maritime agenda for South Africa. We are just today, we had a session, which was a follow-up of what we started last week, you know, setting the tone for South Africa's maritime uh, agenda, 2022 and beyond. And I so believe and hope that, you know, the likes of SAMSA, could be part of such, you know, engagements and conversations, and including what the country is currently busy with in terms of another framework with the oceans economy master plan. Um, we 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 also, you know, very concerned with regards to, you know, us losing our position at the seat in the IMO Council, and we believe a strong and uh, stable SAMSA and the DOT and the entire industry, you know, could prevent such things from happening in the future. Uh, with the hope that, you know, moving forward, we are able also um, to ensure that uh, I, I have seen someone who's a representative from, from DOT, from the executive type from, for office from there. As to say, uh, the mandate, uh, SAMSA, one of those mandates that SAMSA has in terms of, you know, promoting a, a republic's maritime interest. Um, whilst we have lost, I think, a, a year or two with, with, with COVID, I think moving forward, uh, taking from the last two speakers that I've had, um, we need now to, to be serious about what are those interests and how do we come around and sit together and address those for the country and see how we can all have some wins as a country together, the government, the industry, and the new entrances also in this space. We believe moving forward, uh, there can be greater things that we can continue on. We see um, in the Alcoa Bay, uh, also, you know, the Neptune, the Moratorium, um, for new entrances to come or new players within this place. And we believe such would create, you know, traction for, for, for economic boosts. And we hope other parties that are to play their own role as well in making sure that what we have with and what God has blessed us with, with our coastline, we are able to, all of us, one, protect it, and also see how the economy benefits from it, the local economy. Understanding that, you know, maritime as a whole is an international space, but we can never forget or leave out the issues of localization. Um, we have seen how sometimes played a role in being proactive in looking at, you know, the activities that we see with regards to oil and gas and energy around, you know, activities within the ports as well. How they've also been engaging uh, with the likes of TNPA in making sure we find a sustainable way in seeing how do we also uh, position ourselves as this country and making sure that we open up spaces uh, even with the offshore activities that, 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 that we know this country can be able uh, to play a very vital role in, in being a full 
service center for all those vessels that are passing by um, our, our, our shores. We believe um, there is an opportunity that as the stakeholders, we can all uh, begin to also cap capitalize on the issue of Africa trade. Um, and I think this is continuing to be raised very hard on how do we engage um, uh, um, uh, around this and making sure that we position, you know, South Africa and we position Africa. Um, and I think had we had not been somehow uh, operating in isolation, um, I think our lobbying, even in the IMO, should be stronger if we are able to bring our African, you know, counterparts uh, around the table and driving a big and a huge um, sustainable, you know, oceans agenda for Africa as a whole. As a maritime chamber, we commit, we, we remain committed in working with, you know, the South African Maritime Safety Authority, and we believe um, that moving forward from now, we should look at, as what Mr. Emilat was saying, we can't be having uh, these ceremonial, you know, a, a, a engagements just for the sake of having them. What are we taking from this? And what is it that we are beginning now to implement and make sure that the economy, because we are faced with the biggest pandemic, which is poverty. And it is our firm belief as the Maritime Chamber that the ocean's economy or the blue, you know, economy agenda can have a great impact. We have not realized the possible, you know, contribution of 177 billion that is ought to be contributed by the maritime industry towards our national GDP. And we believe now it is time we stop, you know, just talking, but we begin to engage. And I believe everyone that has attended this session today are those that are saying we are raising our hands, we are there, and we are willing now to get our hands dirty to make sure that we rebuild our economy. And it starts with each and every one of us uh, in this platform today. Uh, without saying much, uh, thank you very much, Program uh, Director and the, the entire executive and leadership of SAMSA for affording us this opportunity. We continue committed to working with you in driving, especially the mandate of promoting South Africa's maritime interest. Thank you.